Okay, to get started using Autodesk and Mentor, you want to go to autodesk.com slash education slash home. This should, allow, this should allow you to get Autodesk Inventor for free if you sign in using your .edu email address. So you'll have to use, for example, your university.edu email address in order to get this for free. So after you created a new account, you should be able to log in. It'll ask you for some additional information about yourself. It might ask you for some two-factor authentication methods. But once you get in, it should look like this. Then you can go over here to products. And then go over to Inventor Professional right here. And then what you can do is select student, access products. You want to go over here to Inventor Professional. I'm going to download the Windows 64 bit version, English in 2025. Read the terms of service. And the install should begin. Looks like it's going to download an installer first. Okay, and it uh, looks like I've already done it previously, so let me launch it again. Let's see how long this is, process is going to take. I'll cut the video off once this begins the installation. You can see right now it's 841. Let's see how long this process takes. So I'll pause the video right now. Okay, and this is the next screen that I received. I'm going to install it in the default location. And I'm not sure if I need all of this. Now it's got the electrical catalog browser in there. We might install that just in case you're in electrical engineering, but you may not even need to install this to save some drive space on your computer. So I would say um, uncheck that if your uh, space on your hard drive is limited. All right, let me pause the video and come back, see how long is this going to take. Well, I forgot to check on this screen regularly. I know it didn't take 35 minutes to install it, so it looks like it's all ready to go now. And let's see if we have Inventor installed on the desktop then. I see it right there. Okay, and I think this is where we'll need to make sure that we use the same um, username we created with our .edu email address. Let's see if it's going to remember that. Probably going to go over to this one. Go to products, open, coming back over to the application, I think. Looks like it's loading up now. Okay, it looks like it's very much like SolidWorks. You just click on new and then select that you want to make a part, create, then you begin your two dimensional sketch. I think it's going to be up here. There it is, taking a minute to load. I'm on a, I'm, I'm recording this on a slow laptop. It looks like it's doing okay. Here's our two dimensional sketch up here. Click right there, select a plane to draw in, just like SolidWorks. This uh, square that they have here is not called a center rectangle. I think it's called a two point rectangle instead. Oh, it actually says two point center. So it's close enough in name, I guess that we have some familiarity to that. And then once you have that, you can, of course, dimension it and then extrude it, just like you do in SolidWorks. So um, it looks like it has most of the same features. I think the only thing that might be different um, is, I guess I really wanted to do that. Uh, I guess I say OK there. OK, and then you can go over here and say, I want to look at the right side, or you can tilt this down, say, I want to look at the uh, front side. You can click on this if you want to orbit and uh, we can click on this to move it around. Okay, so yeah, it looks like many of the features that we use in SolidWorks are going to be in um, Autodesk Inventor. All right, hope this helps get you started.